what's up guys so in today's video i am going to be bleach washing bleach bathing my very over processed very extremely damaged hair now long story short i had red hair a couple months back i decided to do a shadow root when my hair was red i added permanent color at the top and my hair wasn't entirely bleached when your hair isn't when your hair when you are trying to do a shadow root your entire head needs to be bleached but i didn't want to do that i didn't want to bleach my hair at that time but I ended up removing the color and I was left with an orange band all around where the um, permanent color was. I tried doing a bleach wash, uh, just a bleach processing all around the, uh, the orange band. Didn't come out as planned, but I toned my hair because I thought it was going to be you know, light enough to be toned. Anyways, I removed, I ended up removing the toner and this is the end result. Now the parts that are kind of like gray, purpley, those are from purple shampoo. Now the purple shampoo I noticed that only takes in to the very over processed hairs which is around like the ends which is fine you know whatever but I am sick of this yellow orange nasty situation that I have going on right here so we're just going to bleach wash it. I am going to be doing the bleach wash because I don't want to just go in with just bleach on my hair and a bleach wash is going to be one of the most gentlest things that I can think of to do to not further damage my hair i mean it is going to get damaged but it's not i'm hoping it doesn't get to the point where it breaks off because my hair is at that point anyways let's get started because i'm just rambling on now the bleach that i'm going to be using is the Zodo's h beautiful ultra bond powder lightener it comes with built-in bonding which is going to be amazing if you do have breakage and all of that um it does minimize breakage it protects your hair while it's processing so that's a plus i am going to be using it with its developer that it comes with and it is this one right here this one only comes in a 20 volume and a 40 volume i am going to be using the 20 volume you know just to play it safe and i know a lot of people when they do do bleach washes they usually use a 10 volume but because i am i do want to use the powder you know with the developer i'm going to be using this one i've done it before in the past and it's come out fine and so that's what i'm going to be doing and of course i have this cute little temple right here and this cute little purple brush to go along with it and then i know other people do use purple shampoo i am not going to be using purple shampoo i am going to be using these are daryl hair color correcting drops oh these are to eliminate unwanted brassy red or gold tones which is basically what i have on my hair and then i am going to be using this joyful defy damage protective shampoo right here and yeah so let's get started to this formulation all right so we are going to start with the bleach of course i'm just going to be eyeballing it so this is what we have right here and then i'm going to be adding the developer that i mentioned it all up all right so basically this is what i have right here it's pretty thick i'm going to be adding a little bit more to the flipper but anyways so i'm just going to go add the shampoo i have done a lot of bleach um washes in the past and there are times where i get it right and there are times where i don't get it right I either add too much shampoo and then I don't add enough bleach or I add way too little shampoo and I add too much bleach that my hair ends up breaking off. So this, I don't eyeball. I act, well, I do eyeball basically because I'm not measuring, but if it is too liquidy, then I've added too much shampoo. If it is too thick, then I haven't added too much shampoo. So I kind of want it to be in between liquidy, in between you know kind of thick so basically it's like when you look at your frappuccino if you can still feel that liquidiness but you can still feel that like iciness like that soft iciness feeling then it's done right but if it's too liquidy then it's just it's just regular cough like iced coffee so right here what i'm looking at it's almost right now this is kind of what I want. I kind of want it to drip a little, just a little, so I am going to be adding a little more. But I do want to be careful because I've added 
too much shampoo in the past couple times that I've done my bleach wash, which is usually why it doesn't end up working the way I wanted it to. It doesn't give me that lightness that I want. But, you know, whatever. You live and you learn. So, right there, like that. That's kind of what I want. So now I'm going to be using the Ardell drops right here. These say to add 15 drops for each ounce of color. So I am going to be adding about 30 to 40 drops just because, again, I did not measure this. So I'm just going to wing it and hope for the best. But, I mean, the bleach already is going to do a pretty good job. This is just to eliminate the tones, which is basically what I'm using the bleach for, the bleach wash for. But I guess this is just going to be an extra boost, which is why people usually tend to use a purple shampoo. So, alright. So basically, keep brushing my hair out, get all the tangles out. I am honestly very nervous about this because my hair is just like, what the hell are you doing to me at this point? Oh, and I forgot. I do use this Olaplex, number one. This, if you are someone that changes up the hair color a lot and you are scared that your hair is going to fall off, this is a great investment. It is a bit pricey, but it honestly helps so, so much in terms of not breaking off your hair, not damaging your hair. I mean, it will cause damage. Obviously, you're bleaching it, but this helps protect it so much. I highly recommend it. I'm just going to add a little bit of this, like so. So, let's see. Alright guys, so I am done. Basically, I failed. I did touch some of my roots. You can see they are processing. They aren't going to get light enough though. But if they do, I'm going to have to bleach my roots again, which is something that I didn't want to do. I'm going to leave it on for about 15 minutes and then I'll be right back with the final result. I feel like this time it is going to work, so we'll see. But I'll be back in about 15 minutes. Alright guys, so I am done washing my hair. I'm so excited to see the to show you guys the results because this time this bleach wash did work. My hair did not fall off. There's like barely any breakage at all. Like, but let me show you. You can see my hair right here. Do you see that? That's how bad my hair is. It snaps off like nothing. So again, the products I will be listing down below. The bleach really does help a lot in terms of minimizing the breakage. The Olaplex that I did mention, if you are someone that likes to bleach their hair, change up their hair color often, I highly recommend it. It is going to help you so, so much. But let me show you guys the results. So basically it is dark enough, I mean light enough for me to go in with a toner. It is picking up darker on camera just because the lighting here in the bathroom sucks. I do have a ring light, but it's not really helping the lighting in the bathroom is awful but you can see there is a huge difference it is picking up a slight bit orange but it is extremely lighter than it was before like way lighter <sighs> I was wrong the bleach did bleach my roots I might go in and you know redo the rest of them evenly I might not we'll see but I am so glad with the results. I am happy that this finally worked because I hated how my hair looked. I wanted it to be nice and even so that I can tone it. You can see. Again, the lighting in here is awful, so it is not doing justice. But my hair is ten times lighter than it was before, for sure. I, I am just so excited. I don't even know what to say. I'm like so excited about the hair. I can't wait to tone my hair.
but anyway guys that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching again if you are new to my channel please subscribe if you have any comments questions concerns please comment in the section down below i'd be more than happy to answer and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it would really help me out but yeah i am done see you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye